everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and I'm a certified personal trainer. And in today's video, I wanted to try something and kind of see how it goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on my makeup, get ready for the day, all that jazz, and talk to you a little bit about weight loss supplements. It's a topic, let me tell you. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, if you're curious what I am using, I'll be sure to put it all down below in the description box. Hopefully all this stuff is still available. I don't know. I'm gonna be real honest with you. So, so first thing first, weight loss supplements. This is a multi million dollar thing everybody wants the quick fix everybody wants to get results right away uh, not put in as much time and effort as they should and they want the fast quick results and companies have seen this and decided to try it one of the biggest things that we have to remember when it comes to fitness is that fitness is not a one size fits all type deal. What works for one person is not necessarily going to work for another person. Um, so it's very hard to go through and be able to put out supplements and put out programs and different items and things of that sort that are going to work for everybody. Um, one of the things that makes us great as humans is that we are so different. There are so many different factors as to what can influence our weight loss, our fitness, our strength, all of that good stuff. Um, so I kind of want to put that disclaimer out there first. So the first thing we're going to talk about are uh, weight loss pills. So there are a lot of them out on the market right now. Um, you can go to any sort of grocery store or uh, convenience store or things of that sort and you can find items that are listed as weight loss supplements to kind of help you lose weight fast. One of the biggest issues with the, these are they are not FDA um, certified, which means they have not gone through any sort of testing or anything of that sort. So what they list on the bottle can be something completely different. There is a supplement out there uh, called Ally that has been tested by the FDA and has been shown to help individuals achieve weight loss um, on top of diet and exercise. Um, but most of them aren't. So I would plead with everybody to not use those. <laughs> With that being said, if you go into a GNC or a vitamin shop or a supplement company online, um, there are pills that are available that are deemed as uh, fat loss pills. They're pills that they say are going to help you lose weight. These are generally targeted towards individuals who need to drop weight fast uh, for competitions, whether they're bikini competitors, uh, bodybuilders, power lifters, boxers, things of that sort. The people that need to have hit a certain weight class or give themselves a certain physique. Um, they claim they've been tested, that results show, things of that sort. It's really a bunch of malarkey. Honestly, um, they're not really going to do anything for you. It may help some people. It may not help some people. I have personally spent my money on them and used them and have seen no sort of difference 
within whether I lost weight, whether I toned up faster, um, lost fat, things of that sort. They honestly, they didn't really work. Um, so once again, I highly, highly, highly suggest you not waste your money on them. They're incredibly expensive. I believe the one that I purchased once upon a time was $45 and this was a good three years ago. No, two years ago. So they could have gone down in price, but no, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, you guys. So don't, don't even try. Now, with that all being said, there are certain things that will help you achieve quick weight loss. Um, that the weight difference that you see on this scale is more water weight fluctuations versus actual fat loss or weight loss. So what do I mean by that? So when we talk about water weight, let's say you went out to a restaurant and you had a big meal, you had, you had the appetizer, you had your entree, you had your dessert, you had your drinks, things of that sort. The next day you get on the scale and it says you've gained five, seven, ten, who knows, pounds. Um, which is very, can be very, very hard when you are you see that and you're on a weight loss journey it can be very disorienting it can really kind of crush your spirits make you feel negative all of that stuff uh, because all of a sudden you see this spike in your weight and you think you've gained weight first thing though with that being said is you're not going to gain 10 pounds overnight. It's not happening. You're not going to gain seven pounds over, uh, overnight. You're not going to gain five pounds. You're not going to gain one pound overweight. Like you're not going to gain one pound overnight. There we go. It's not going to happen. Just as you can't lose a hundred pounds, you can't lose Just like how you can't lose a pound just overnight, you can't gain a pound overnight. It takes a lot to gain weight, to lose weight. It's all about calories in, calories out, uh, how things work with your body, all of this stuff. And the idea that you're going to gain a pound of weight overnight is highly impractical. But I mean, we see we see it, that number on the scale go up, and it's disheartening, it's frustrating, um, all of that stuff. So it can be a little difficult. So when we see that increase of numbers on the scale, what is that? If it's not actual weight that we have gained, what what's going on here? What it is is it's water weight. So what happens when we eat maybe a little bit more than we have burned or we have kind of things that our body isn't necessarily going to need or use um, within the day to day, such as alcohol, uh, our body ends up holding on to water when we do it. There's a whole scientific reasoning behind this that I'm not going to go into. You guys don't want to hear it. I don't want to explain it. It's just basically water, your body holding onto water. So the first two products I'm actually going to show you are actually products that will help you lose that water weight because naturally your body is going to expel it. Um, when it's deemed that it's not necessary necessary when you start kind of to work a little more uh eat more within your daily calorie range things of that sort um 
your body's naturally going to expel it. Sometimes it needs a little help. Um, that's what diuretic pills or water pills are for. The issue with water pills and diuretics is that we don't know exactly what is in them. Um, lots of times it's a lot of different chemicals um, and we're not exactly fully sure what they're doing to our body. Um, so I highly, highly, highly suggest individuals not using them unless they are directed to use them um, by a doctor. So the products, I'm going to show you two products that help you expel that water weight in a safe, more effective manner than say water pills. So the first product I have is the traditional medicine uh, weight less cranberry tea. Um, you can see it states directly on the box that it relieves temporary water weight gain. So if we look closely at that temporary water weight gain. Say that with me. Temporary water weight gain. It says it right on the box, you guys. Temporary. It's temp water weight. It's temporary. It's always temporary. And it's water. It helps to release that extra water that you have holding onto your body. So, if we think about it, that's how it works. So, why am I going to tell you to take this versus a diuretic or a pill? There's lots of reasons. First of all, it's natural and organic. Yes, we hear people talk about this over and over and over again, but within that being said, there's not a whole lot of chemicals that are being um, put into our body with this. Um, so I'm more inclined to suggest people use that to kind of help them feel better about water weight gain than something else because when we get down to it fitness and weight loss and all of that stuff a lot of it is a mental game when we don't see things happening on the scale when we don't feel them happening in our body when we're the our clothes aren't necessarily fitting better or um the numbers on the tape measure aren't going down things of that sort we can get very frustrated and it can make us want to stop um so the reason why I might say, hey, take, try this, see how it works for you, is to kind of help with that mental gain of weight loss. Because as in most things in life, it can get very frustrating sometimes. And to kind of, I don't think this, well, you guys like that different color and shade there. Anyways, um, I hate foundation matching. Anyways, <laughs> we'll fix it. It's okay, you guys. Um. Anyway, with that all being said, it's all a mental game. And I am more inclined to suggest people use it um, to kind of help, just kind of help you feel better about it all because it is, it's just, it's losing, trying to lose weight and things of that sort, it's hard. It is hard, I feel ya. And sometimes when we need that little like mental boost to help us get over a uh, disappointing weigh in or something of that sort, that can, it can really help. Um, the other reason why I suggest it to individuals is because it's cranberry. And cranberry is incredibly beneficial to bladder health, specifically bladder health in women, um, especially if you're prone to UTIs. Um, cranberry, cranberry products, 
uh, can really kind of help keep it all nice and healthy and um, flowing nicely. So cranberry will help that as well as lots of times what um, water weight gain can be an indicator of is that you have not consumed enough water in your diet um, throughout the day, whatever, and by not consuming enough water throughout the day that can lead to a UTI. So what this is going to do is it's also going to kind of help flush out any issues that might be happening down there um, with the UTI and just work that through. So item number two is again along the lines of a item that's going to kind of help get rid of that extra water weight. And this is actually a topical cream. Um, there are a bunch of different ones on the market, and that is to be said, but this is the one that I prefer to use. Um, and the reason for that is because of um, what they use as their topical ingredients, I guess I was going to say. So we have Steel Fits, Abs of Steel and Buns of Steel. Um, full disclaimer, I, I'm not an affiliate with them. They do have affiliates. I am not an affiliate with them. Um, generally speaking, I only use Abs of Steel. Um, I'm not fully sure what the difference is in them, but I do feel more of a sensation of sweat and working and things of that sort when I use the Abs of Steel versus when I use the Buns of Steel. Abs of Steel goes on your stomach, Buns of Steel goes on your legs. I, I, I am not fully sure why they are different, anything of that sort. The reason why I have both of them is because there was a sale going on and you were limited to only two and I am a sucker for free shipping. So in order to get my free shipping and get the most bang out of my buck that I was spending, I ended up with some buns of steel as well because they were on sale. And I mean, they're, they run a lot of sales and everything. So if you're interested in this product after I tell you about it, you can go get some find yourself a good sale. Um, so with that being said, why am I telling you about this? Because of the thermogenic reaction that goes on when that is put onto your skin, um, it makes you sweat more, plain and simple. They also come with some neoprene um, waist wraps that help you sweat more. And again, it's just along the lines of that mental game that happens when you are working towards weight loss goal. Um, so what it does, it makes you sweat more. What is sweat? Sweat is basically water leaving your body, along with electrolytes and other things of that sort. So the sweat's leaving your body and it is no longer going to then basically show up on the scale. So you use the abs of steel, buns of steels, your neoprene waist trainer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to cause you to sweat more, which then in turn makes you lose water weight. And um, then makes the number on the scale go down. Is it worthwhile? I mean, I use it. Um, I use it more in the winter than I do in, say, the summer. And one of the biggest factors for that is because the thermogenics that are used within it basically warms up your body and makes your body produce heat that makes you, and that heat is what makes you sweat. And then your body's warmer, you're out in the cold. 
you're just warmer. Like, it just kind of makes sense. Um, so I really like to use it that way. Um, kind of just makes me feel warmer when I'm out running in the winter. Um, do be careful when you're using it in the summer um, because if it's making you sweat more and you're exercising and things of that sort, then um, it can cause you to lose more water and then become dehydrated, which is an issue in and of itself. Um, and we want to avoid that at any cost. So the reason why I like the Steel Fit ones a little bit more than say the Sweet Sweat ones is because the Sweet, specifically Sweet Sweat uses petroleum based products. Petroleum, first of all, is an oil. Obviously, it's what we run our cars on, things of that sort. It's very degrading to the environment. And yes, I do drive a car, but I am going to limit, try to limit my petroleum usage um, as much as I can, since not driving a car <laughs> isn't necessarily an option. It is an option to limit your petroleum based items to better the environment. So I don't use petroleum that way. Additionally, petroleum will stain your clothes if you get on, get it on it. I ended up staining one of my favorite workout shirts with Sweet Sweat and was incredibly PO'd. So with the uh, Steel Fit ones, the ingredients that they use are more oil um, based products such as soybean oil, um, so that doesn't stain your clothes. So, there's that. So the last product I have for you guys are Celsius. So we have Celsius heat here and then the original Celsius right here. I bo like both of these products. Um, they're both pre-workouts and I'm going to kind of explain a little bit about that to you guys. Um, and why they are beneficial or could be beneficial to you for weight loss. All right, I'm back. I, could, I couldn't I could do the talking and the eyeliner at the same time. It was not working out, you guys. Uh, anyway, so where were we? <laughs> so there's stimulant-free pre-workouts on the market. There are stimulants, um, pre-workouts on the market. Those base they have caffeine in them. Um, caffeine has been shown in a lot of studies to kind of boost the metabolism and boost calorie burning um, in everyday exercise. Um, so that's the reason why it is in say these products like celsius and they can use kind of that claim of aiding in weight loss um with that being said additionally in celsius they do have green tea extract and green tea extract is again one of those products that um that has been shown to kind of boost metabolism, boost your calorie burnage, um, and then in turn boost your weight loss efforts in studies that are shown. With that being said, we are looking at case studies um, where the majority of people are seeing this happen. Um, just because it's the majority does not mean that it's everybody. We have to remember, always, always, always remember that in this type of weight loss, working out, things of that sort, everybody is different. Every body is different. Everything's gonna re react differently. So just because in the majority of people it shows that it aids in weight loss doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen for everybody. With that being said, the reason why I'm telling you guys about these is because for me, for me personally, I feel 
better when I use these. Um, I don't use them before every workout. Um, generally, I use them, um, the heat I will take before a run um, that maybe is a little bit more intense. So I'm talking about when I'm doing speed work. Um, I will take it and I like that it that way and then with the smaller cans that also come in little uh, packets that you can put into water I like to take those before something that's maybe not quite so intense so I'm saying like my ninja training or if maybe I'm going to a Pilates class or something like that that maybe isn't quite so intense. I do like the boost that happens from that. I hardly ever wear lipstick or line my lips. Just so y'all know. Okay, so with all that being said, that's all I have for you guys. Um, so thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you. I will also link my social media handles so you can go follow me over there. And you know, if you guys have another topic that you want me to discuss um, while I'm doing my makeup, just let me know down below and be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!